On Sunday, the United States and United Kingdom warned of a possible terror attack in the nation's capital, Abuja. But now, the Inspector General of Police, Usman al khali Baba, is insisting that there is no security threat in the nation's capital, Abuja. According to the warnings, the attack would be aimed at government buildings, places of worship, schools and other centers where large crowds gather. But in a statement by the force spokesperson, Olumu Yawa Adejobi, the IDP reassured Nigerians and other foreign nationals of their safety within the country. The police chief also charged all strategic police managers in charge of commands and tactical formations within the country to beef up security in their respective jurisdictions, especially in the FCT. He retreated the commitment of the Nigeria police in securing lives and property, noting that the force will achieve its mandate in collaboration with other security agencies. The IGP also directed that all emergency numbers across the country should be activated to full capacity for a 24-7 prompt response with combatant officers and men on standby to respond in case of emergency situations and distress calls. For more on the terror alert by the U.S. and U.K. government, let's talk to a security and intelligence consultant, Abu Adams, who joins us live uh, via Zoom. Now, Mr. Abu, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Let's begin thank with you. your perception of this advisory given by the U.S. and U.K. government. What do you make of it? Well, thank you very much. I think uh, what the U.S. did is not something that they have not done before or that they have not been doing before. And uh, other nations, too, have been doing, I mean, uh, doing such things in the past. Even our own uh, national intelligence uh, organization, the DSS, had had calls to tell Nigerians that um, we should uh, be careful and then report any suspicious movement or any intelligence that uh, can help in uh, abating the current situation. But the, I think the new dimension is the fact that uh, they are telling their citizens to leave. They are also reducing their activities at the, in their various embassies. And uh, after the US, other European countries have also joined uh, you know, in giving the same uh, advice to their citizens. I think that's the only area that is a bit worrisome. But that is not to say that uh, there has not been threat and uh, more so, especially after the uh, jailbreak in Kuge, that uh, we know that most of their, you know, senior commanders have been let loose. And then uh, when they released the last um, uh, 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 victims that were with them, uh, you know that now they are not having anything. There's every likeliness that they are planning something to do. And so I think that is the reason why they did what they did. But I think... Uh, at the same time, it's, it, it's something that uh, all of us should uh, take seriously and then walk towards, just like the president said, and the ID, uh, we should be cautious and also uh, go about our normal business. Adams, again, uh, what do you make of uh, the way the government has responded to this? The Minister of Information and Culture has spoken, the DSS has spoken, the IGP has also spoken, insisting there is no threat in Abuja. If yeah. not in Abuja, what about other locations? Um, um, you see, th thank you very much. I think uh, I, I want to respond to the two organizations, the, the, the Inspector General of Police and the Department of State Services. If you look at their statement, they, they, they professionally, I mean, did what they are supposed to do. They are not denying that there are no threats but that uh, we are doing all we can to make sure that uh, the threats are abated. And of course, like the president said, there are several um, you know, threats that have been abated that the public are not aware of. And because it's not everything you let everybody know, people naturally will just be panicking every day. But that is not to say that, um, I think their responses are in order. They, they said they are working and they are aware of the, the incident uh, don't forget that before even the, the U.S. and other nations gave this advice as risk to their uh, citizens, the, the security agencies would have been uh, informed by way of uh, intelligence sharing, and they must have been working on it. After all, there have been uh, you know, unconfirmed reports about various arrests across Abuja and some other places. So this is what it's intended to do. But 
the I think the little bit worrisome aspect of it is that uh, that their their citizens are living is uh, a bit worrisome. Is there any other thing they are aware of that the government is not aware? And I don't want to believe that there's something they are aware of that government is not aware and working on it. Mm. All right. Again, so this is a, a this is a this is a, this may involve uh, I mean uh, foreign policy uh, diplomacy on part of uh, nations. Mm. Uh, don't forget, we are third world nation, and uh, they seem to be advanced uh, nations. So there are those differences. All right. So. I for, uh, two things now. What exactly now is your charge to Nigerians at this time? And then how do we put all of this behind us? Thank you. I think Nigeria, I, I think I read something of recent, I think I don't know whether, I can't remember now, Burkina Faso or so, that their citizens, you know, rose up to support government to fight these bandits. I've been saying, if we leave this fight to government security agencies alone, it will take us a very long time. I want you to imagine uh, if uh, the civilian JTF had not been there for uh, the, the, the military in the north, in northeast, uh, if um, uh, what Amoteku and others have been doing have not been there for, you know, since they, they, they come on board, you can imagine the intensity. So I want to say that uh, while we continue to say government should uh, do its best, we citizens should rise up. I mean, I, I've heard stories where you, you, you hear of uh, uh, these uh, bandits, uh, even herders, you uh, come to a man's farm, enter uh -huh. the farm, cook their gun, allow their cows to eat or something. Mm -hmm. But these are things that uh, Nigerians who certainly should not uh, condone. Right, so you uh, believe that Nigerians also have a basis. role to play by providing intelligence to the exactly. security agencies. All right then, security and intelligence consultant Abu Adams, thank you very much for your time on TVC News at 7. Thank you, I appreciate you.